What a surprise. Pausing the video did not end up working and it started a new thing. So apparently I can't swip, switch applications while it's paused and have it keep my place in the previous video. Are you going to let me over or not, lady? Are you going to let me over? Yes. That's a yes. I'm taking it anyway. The same manufacturer who made the uh, Grumman mail trucks made a tank. They're like, neither rain nor sleep, baby. They're gonna stop me. Deliver through a hole in your wall. Wow, that was a risky move, man. She just about flipped. Nobody wants to let me over at all. It's okay, I'll just break right here. Let me see the shotgun approach. Continuing to talk about um, what even was going on with all that? Continuing to talk about uh, the character dialogue in Tootsie. forever. Um, so yeah, Michael's dialogue is mostly realistic, but it's kind of his acting and situation that creates the comedy around him. Um, that said, his dialogue is good, it's believable, it's very realistic, it seems a lot like um, what you'd hear people say in a normal conversation, um, you know, that isn't acted. Uh, I don't know if if uh, Dustin Hoffman is a method actor or not, uh, I don't know what method he uses at all, but I think whatever method it is that he uses to deliver dialogue, it doesn't sound like it's scripted. Um, you know, it just sounds like, you know, somebody doing a, an impromptu interview, um, or just, you know, talking in a way that doesn't involve a teleprompter or pre-writing, uh, I think it works for him. Um, you know, because, and, and because of that, I've got to credit the dialogue, um, you know, for being something that can sound realistic. Um, so I think his is very, very good. Um, Dorothy's um, dialogue, you know, it's kind of um, harder to separate the acting from the dialogue with that, because, you know, with that situation, you never really forget that he's acting a part, but 
you also realize that you're in on the joke. Um, So you're in on the joke and you're following along the process that's going on in his head, but you're not believing that that's who the title character, or you know, that's, that's the... You're not, supposed, you're not supposed to suspend your disbelief with that character. Um, you know, you're not supposed to be like the people that are around him who aren't aware of what's, what he's doing, um, you know, he's supposed to be, um, you know, in, in, like, that character is supposed to be an acted character, but that said, you know, you can still have a character who's believable enough that within that, um, show within a show, you know, you should still be able to believe that that's, that all that dialogue is real. Um, look, dude, that cushion is there for breaking purposes in case the person in front of me does something stupid. It's not there so that you can do something stupid. <sighs> you don't have to compound the stupidity. I mean, really, what was the rush? We're both, like, I mean, there's, like, a 12-foot difference between the two of us. Which, which really, um, makes me wonder why I'm even bothering to mention it. Um, okay, so, I mean, I don't think, I mean, okay, for a title character, you know, and the person that's appearing on all the DVD covers and Blu-ray covers. Um, I think I think Dorothy's dialogue is a little overrated. Um, you know, I think some of some of the quips are are funny. Um, and I think seeing. Dustin Hoffman trying, or uh, rather Michael, trying to, um, and managing to pull his own fat out of the fire so many different times, um, you know, by his own cleverness, you know, that... They're not, they're not really throwing any softballs, um, with the setups to the punchlines. Um, you know, they're putting Michael's character in really difficult situations, um, that aren't easy to get out of. Uh, and yet somehow he's able to, um, get so in tune with his own acting that, um, you know, he's able to deliver dialogue on the spot that's clever, um, (laughs) 
and really helps forward his own agenda of, um, you know, trying to get more um, humane treatment of women and respect for um, himself and for other women. Um, I don't think that's all there is to it. I mean, he's, he spends a lot of time um, fabricating this b- whole backstory and this whole personality mostly from scratch um, for Dorothy and managing to say just the right thing and just the right situation to where, you know, she's pretty much got everybody um, doing what she wants them to do and gets her way most of the time. And it's just, it kind of works to Michael's disadvantage because Dorothy ends up taking over his life and Dorothy is really not as good in some areas as he is at managing his life. Um... So her dialogue, you know, it's okay. I think Michael's is probably in the high uh, 90s. Please stay green. No dice. So I would say that Dorothy's lines are probably more in maybe the 60s or 70s. Um, I'll just say like 70. So we're looking at 50 for the most part, you know, for the extras, 90 for Michael, 70 for Dorothy, um, maybe 72. Plus 
70 average. But I mean, the lines are still weighted towards the main characters. Um, I think, okay, so there's some other characters that have pretty good dialogue, um, or at least believable dialogue. Julie's father, Julie's dialogue is all very believable. It just doesn't match the tone of everybody else's, but it still works. Um, you know, for the more dramatic parts. has a ton of lines in the movie. Um, I think I'll save the visual dialogue for the acting. Um, in a silent movie, I'd be more prone to put that towards um, character dialogue, but I think, you know, when you're talking about physical acting, it really, for the most part, usually fits better into acting. Um, you know, Michael's creating this whole script of, this whole library of motions, too, and, and behaviors um, for Dorothy. Um, the soap opera dialogue is bad, um, and that's kind of the that's kind of the whole point, is that, you know, the writing is bad prior to when Michael gets there, because they don't really care as much about the acting as they do about, you know, the actors, um, and about just kind of sticking to the status quo. Alright, I don't really feel like letting you know where I live. signal, and like how long it is in between each one of those intervals to figure out where I live, but I mean, seriously, I'm not worth tracking down and stalking. Um, So Julie's and her father's acting are both pretty good. Or not acting, their, their dialogue are pretty good. Um, so I would put theirs like in the 70s or 80s. Probably the 80s. Overall, uh, I think there's some weaker parts with the acting. Um, or not the acting, the dialogue. Um, mostly just that you know, it's not all funny all the time, or, no, that's not, a, that's not a fair judgment to make. say that, you know, it's probably around 86. Um, I think a lot of the dialogue is believable and humorous enough, and just some of the situational humor is funny enough that, you know, it's maybe around, that's, that's a little bit higher than 86. Is it 
funnier or is it okay is it better than the characters themselves um probably i could lower the score a little um maybe to around 87 and a half just that i could give the character dialogue um like an 88 Yeah, I don't, okay, well, no, I don't really feel like doing that. I'll just say the character dialogue is probably somewhere like maybe 85, 84%. I'll say 84 and a half. 84 and a half for the uh, character dialogue.